Hey, what's up, Transform? This is Ben here in China, and today we're gonna continue our 2017 Hobby Free Toy Talk in Wuhan, China. And today we're gonna talk about Fans Toys Cup. Before I do that, I'd like to give picture credits to Toycraft Omega Man and JD. All right, let's go straight down to it. Here we have the banner of the 2017 Hobby Free Toy Show, and here we have Cup. All right, right from the back, we can see that uh, I have here on my left the cartoon model of uh, Cup, and on the right, I have the Fans Toys Cup. And right from the get go, I can say that the head sculpt is pretty good. All right, uh, this is one of the better uh, head sculpt work done by Fans Toys. And the next, we have the arms. Uh, the toy, I mean, the cartoon arms looks pretty organic rounded shoulders, rounded uh, biceps and rounded arms. Uh, you get a bit of a rounded shoulder here. It should could have been a little bigger, the round biceps and the rounded arms. So that's all fine and dandy. The thighs are rounded and so is the toy. So that is great. He has this nice protruding knee pads on the cartoon also you see here uh, then it gets a bit funny towards the lower leg area so first things first is that you have this organic piece on the side don't really see it in the toy and then you got the shins that kind of goes down and widens as it goes down towards the foot not so visible on the toy but that, I guess that's okay because it's gonna transform into the truck you know Cybertronian truck and maybe it suits the mold of the Cyber Cybertronian truck hmm, I don't know uh, we're gonna have to take a look at the transformation but there are some transformation or panel lining liberties that fans toys took that's quite different from the cartoon for example you have those vertical lines over here I don't see it anywhere near the knees for the fans toys cup and then you got this part here there's another piece attached to the leg area and you can see for fans toys cup they took the liberty to ex uh, extend it not going to the side back like how my mouse is moving but taking a completely parallel vertical line upwards along this shin guard area and going square kind of squaring off at the top really close to the knees and you can see in the cartoon that does not happen so and it just kind of looks busy overall you know it, these got some clean lines here and this is doesn't have the clean lines and so, uh, we know with Takara Tomi having this very ultra cartoon accuracy, especially when we, it comes to Inferno and uh, Megatron, uh, I think that this fits with the old masterpiece aesthetics, but not with the new. Um, then let's take a look at the chest area. We have a very nice curvatured uh, chest with those clean lines and those horizontal lines across the chest we can see the horizontal lines here and then we can see the windshield area which tends to be a little bit bigger in fans toys cup and we got a lot of these busy lines i i kind of disagree with fans toys you know take on adding details at the wrong places and this is this is quite unnecessary in my opinion it just distracts me the viewer from what I'm supposed to appreciate. And if you can take another picture or another look at this detailing, it's just distracting. When your eyes look at the toy, the first thing you do is look at this area here because it's the, the way the lines are designed is pulling you, is pulling you in towards this area here. You see all these lines moving here? It's 
and the lines from here, it's just your eyes immediately goes around this area. And so that's very distracting. I mean, when you look at a toy, you're supposed to first appreciate the head sculpt and the overall silhouette, silhouette of how the toy is supposed to look. But this just does not look the part to me. And also, uh, the abs here tends to be a little long. I mean, I mean, look at the proportion of the body to the to the legs. I mean, if you look at the cartoon model, the the body is a little way shorter than the legs, and so uh, it kind of looks a bit off. The abs here looks ex extra long. It's like it's a six pack, but if you look at the cartoon, it's maybe like four packs, you know. And also this crotch area beneath the belt extends downwards for fans toys cup but it's not really cartoon accurate if you take a look at the how the crotch piece ends here be just underneath the uh, underwear line yeah so that's a little bit different but it is i think one of the more better looking third party cups that we have out there and it also includes the target master piece okay and then from the back i couldn't really get a good uh, shot from the back but uh, we know that cup's uh, cab area here just splits up and to reveal the head and i think fans toys uh, back portion here is quite all right you know uh, doesn't look too busy doesn't look too protruding out there i think it's fine for the most part so there you go there's my take on fans toys cup uh pretty good i don't know if there's any other fans to uh, any other third party take on cup out there i think there's maybe a couple more but i can't remember their names um other than the distracting chess piece on this fans toys version you know maybe i'm leaning towards uh getting it it all depends because it's a bit too big compared to hot mod uh, mp28 so i don't know unless Fast Toys really gives us a very good looking hot rod with uh, the face cup that is more cartoon accurate instead of this, uh, what do you call that? Those uh, Cartman fat uh, face, then I think I'll, I'll start collecting the Fast Toys version of their uh, modern Cybertronian vehicle bots. All right. Let me know what you guys think about this updated Fans Toys prototype on Cup in the comment section below. If you like this video, please share and let's keep the discussion going. This is Ben here in China signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.